So Zion shoves for a huge sizing here. I mean, that, that is quite a large raise. So he's swapping a lot of full houses here, right? I mean, he could have kings, jacks, nines, king, jack, king, nine, you know, pocket eights. I don't think so. So, yeah, he can have a lot of full houses. And the Jericho will not have too many, so... Alright, so, we've got Stefan open raising in the small blend, the 3x. And as you may know, Stefan likes to do a bit of everything. You know, I've seen anywhere from 5x to min raise and everything in between. The Jericho goes for a 3x 3-bet, which is pretty standard. They are a little bit deeper. Some, te uh, some people decide to increase the 3-bet sizing a little bit, but the Jericho has not. So Stefan calls the flop is 10-4 deuce. This is a very dry flop. I mean, both guys can have some sets. Both guys can have hands like ace-5 suited or 6-5 suited. But other than that, there's not much going on. So the Jericho is saying, hey, I'm far ahead on this board. I don't need to bet very large in order to apply pressure to your range. And Stefan's saying, well, I know you're three betting a wide range. I know you're C betting a wide range. I'm not going to let you get away with that. So I'm going to check raise aggressively. Now, this ace is very bad for Stefan's range. When he check raises the flop, he just doesn't have that many aces, right? I mean, he might have a hand like ace 10 or ace 5, maybe a hand like ace 4, but that's a reduced amount of combination. So, this card is definitely better for the Jericho, and therefore, Stefan is going to be, you know, he's going to slow down a little bit. So, I'd expect to see a decent amount of checking, but it's Stefan, so let's see. Stefan doesn't care. He bets large. So when he bets large, he's saying, I've got a very strong hand, right? I'm not even, I don't even have a hand like 10 9 suited anymore, pocket eights. I have a hand like an ace or better. And even if he had an ace, he might sometimes check. Jer the Jericho calls. I don't think he's going to do a whole lot of raising. The board is so dry. Rivers of five, which it doesn't matter a whole lot. I guess Stefan could could have a hand like ace three, or maybe he's he was check raise bluffing with hand like threes and got there. Um, you know, same thing with the Jericho. You know, maybe he has a hand like ace three or three four, something like that. But it's not the most relevant card. So I expect Stefan to shovel in here if he bets, which he does. Okay, nice hand. Okay, so. Stefan opens a small blind of ace-5 suited, absolutely standard, and he calls the Jericho's 3-bet standard. You could 4-bet bluff if you wanted to. And on the flop, he's thinking, well, I mean, my ace high may be good, but I'm going to get barrel off my hand a lot, so let me just check raise bluff this one. I even block hands like aces and ace-10 suited, so his play is pretty good. And I like the Jericho's decision to call the check raise. And on the turn, I mean, easy call by the Jericho, but Stefan definitely could have considered checking, right? I mean... He is behind against hands like ace-king, ace-queen, ace-ten, tens, you know, some other hands like ace-four. So, yeah, he can definitely consider checking, but betting is fine. And on the river, I do think Stefan would have checked the river, but he got lucky. You know, he river two pair. I don't think the Jericho can fold here. Uh, Stefan can have plenty of bluffs. So, I think the, Jer the Jericho's play is a 9.5 out of 10. I like his play throughout the hand. Stefan's play is an 8.5 out of 10. I also like his play. So, fun start. So as you can see, these guys are some of the better players in the world, right? So of course, you're not going to see gigantic mistakes. Or at least not very many. Who's the best in this lineup? Um, well, according to Stefan, he would be the best in the lineup. Um, I mean, Vice and Fish is definitely the weakest player in the lineup. I don't think he's playing this game in order to make money. I think he's a tournament player. So he's probably just had a good score, and he's trying to improve himself a little bit. So, yeah, uh, he's definitely the weakest player in his lineup. And then Stefan and the Jericho, you know, it's pr probably equally close. They couldn't be more different in terms of their styles. I mean, I've, play I've played Stefan a lot. I've never really played the Jericho a lot. I've played maybe a thousand hands with him lifetime, so almost nothing. But I've seen his game a decent amount. I think he's a good player for sure. Uh, it's pretty close between Stefan and the Jericho, so... Yeah, it, it could be that it could be it's possible that all three guys are minus EV, but I, I don't think so. I think either Stefan or the Jericho is probably winning small. This time, Vice and Fish, Fish open raises 2.5x, which is a pretty standard sizing. Some guys go even smaller, some guys even go larger. Ace 10 Deuce is a board that WXR Low really like because it's one of those boards on which you can do everything. Big bet makes sense, small bet makes sense, everything in between. So, Vice and Fish chooses the 
bigger bet here. When you bet so big, you're definitely not betting your full range. I expect him to be checking back hands like pocket kings and some weaker aces and some weaker draws, some mid pairs. Maybe if he has absolutely nothing, he may check behind. And the Jericho check raises here. I don't expect him to check raise that much, right? I mean, it's an ace high board, which doesn't favor him. The Jericho doesn't have pocket tens. He doesn't have aces. He probably doesn't have ace ten suited. So he's not doing so great here. So his range is going to be tight. Turns the six of diamonds. A very relevant card. Guys, Both guys could easily have a flush draw. So J the Jericho is saying, hey, I got a hand like two pair. I got a set. I want to bet, but I don't want to make it too large. Or I've got a flush and I'm trying to trap you. I'm not necessarily trying to make the pot big just yet. King changes things a little bit. I could see both. I mean, I could see Vice and Fish having a hand like Ace King with the with the King of Diamonds. I could see him having hands like you know hands like Queen Jack with a diamond. And the Jericho checks now. When he checks, I think he's representing a lot of hands like you know one pair, two pair, and occasionally he's trapping with like a you know like a flush or you know with something like a flush or a straight. So Vice and Fish shoves for around 1.5x pot. Uh, this is definitely a cool sizing to incorporate into your game. And that's a bit of a cooler. Alright, so Vice and Fish bets big on the flop and he calls a check raise. He calls a, uh, he calls a turn, shoves the river. I mean, he has the nuts. It's hard to go wrong with that hand. If you believe that the Jericho is not so strong when checking river, maybe you want to go a little bit smaller than uh, the overbet shove. But the, the Jericho is a very good player. And when he checks here, he's not just going to check full this whole range, right? So, you know, he check raised queen jack, which is loose but fine. On the turn, you know, check calling doesn't really work with such an average hand. But you can bet. I mean, you have a flush draw, you have a gut shot. He didn't know he was dead, though. And on the river, you could bet again if you wanted to, but, you know, it's a nice hand to check call with. Maybe the Jericho turns a hand into a bluff, like, you know, pocket queens with a diamond, something like that. Or maybe a hand like, you know, king of diamonds, Jackie could turn into a bluff as well. So I think the Jericho's play is pretty cool. I'll give him an 8.5 out of 10. Um, I'll give Vice and Fish... Hmm, I'll give him a 9 out of 10. I mean, it's not very difficult to, sh you know, shovel in with the nuts, obviously. But I think his play was pretty good. So, nice end to both guys. Alright, we have one different opponent. We've got Zizano, the legend from Luxembourg. So, Zizano actually uses a slightly larger opening size. I mean, it's not a huge, uh, huge difference, right? King King Nine is a board is a very good board for Zizano. It's it's very very dry. Obviously, he's more likely of nines or kings or big kings like Ace King whatnot. So he can just bet quite small here and bet at a high frequency, which he does. And because he's betting so small and at a high frequency, the Jericho will have to punish him for it. So he goes for the check raise. Good play. The jack changes things quite a bit. I mean, both guys can have queen 10 for the straight. Uh, both guys could have just hit a pair with like queen jack or jack 9 or jack jack 10 whatnot. Zizano is obviously way more likely to have a full house here because he can have pocket jacks, whereas the Jericho would have always 3 bet. So the Jericho cannot just blindly keep betting. He goes for, you know, something a little bit under half pot, which is fine. Rivers an 8, which doesn't change a whole lot. I could see a guy like the Jericho bluffing here with a hand like 10-8 suited or offsuit. And now getting there on the river with a pair. But I mean, it's not like that pair has a whole lot of showdown value, right? So when he bets here for half pot, I think he's mostly representing a hand like the king. Or he's representing a straight. Maybe he takes a hand like queen jack and valley bets, but that would be quite thin. Susano shoves for a huge sizing here. I mean... That, that is quite a large raise. So he's repping a lot of full houses here, right? I mean, he could have kings, jacks, nines, king, jack, king, nine, you know, pocket eights. I don't think so. So, yeah, he can have a lot of full houses. And the Jericho will not have too many. So Susanna is basically saying, hey, the Jericho, I have a lot of full houses. You don't. I'm going to raise really large and apply a lot of pressure. Okay. So Susanna is actually bluff raising with his full house blockers, which is pretty cool. I mean, he's even at the flop. You know, this is a decent hand to check behind if you ever want to check behind. 
So the fact that he bets shows me, you know, he may be betting his full range, or at least close to it. And the Jericho, you know, he again was check raised bluffing with the queen high gut shot, but this time he got there. And he's probably thinking, well, I don't have many full houses in my range. This is one of the best hands in my range. Maybe Zazana even has a, the same hand for value here. I cannot possibly fold here, right? So I do, th I do think he should have uh, just called. I'll give the Jericho a 9 out of 10. I'll give Zazano a an 8.5 out of 10. So nice play by both guys.